Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you how to make masala chas. This is a variation of the basic matta or spiced buttermilk recipe that I shared, which is pretty great when you want to boost the fresh flavor of chas with herbs, especially mint. And here's how to make it. In a blender, take a cup of yogurt, a one inch piece or about one tablespoon of chopped ginger, half of a green chili, one eighth cup pressed each of fresh chopped coriander leaves and mint leaves, a teaspoon of salt or to taste, about one eighth teaspoon of hing or asafoetida powder, and half a teaspoon of bhuna jeera powder, and finally two cups of water. Then blend till everything is well combined and the mix has turned frothy. And of course, you can always adjust the quantities of herbs and flavoring based on your preference. But for this recipe, it's best to not substitute bhuna jeera with regular store-bought cumin powder. It really makes a world of a difference if you can just dry roast some cumin powder and crush it using a mortar and pestle at home and use that. When done, transfer the chas in a jar or something like that and refrigerate to chill because chilled chas is the best chas. And right before serving, you can also sprinkle some more bhuna jeera powder or chaat masala even, or even garnish with some fresh herbs like mint leaves. And done, masala chas is ready to serve. Try it if you haven't already, and enjoy. For the written and printable version of this recipe, check the link in the description box below. And if you like this video, please hit the like button at the bottom of this video. It really helps me out. And subscribe if you haven't already. Until I see you again. Happy cooking!